we do have more awards and more inspiring stories, heartfelt stories. And to introduce our next honoree, please join me in welcoming Brian Jacobs, Director of Workforce Recruitment at Certified Management Accountants. Brian? Right? We're very proud to be here tonight. Uh, I've personally attended many of these uh, functions. Uh, and I come out at the end of the evening just, uh, you know, like on a high, exhilarated. Uh, it's great to see the individuals that come here to our country and contribute, uh, both in business and society. And uh, our institute really values the uh, input that these people have in, within our own program, for example. Uh, they come out, so we value the diversity we have amongst the individuals. And uh, again, on a personal level, it's uh, really, really exhilarating to come to this presentation this evening. Uh, every year, I've been coming here 14 years, I think it is. Uh, I think I missed one year of the 14 years. So, uh, just getting on, it's not about anyone else except for the honorees tonight. So I'd like to present the next honoree. Our next honoree is an accomplished entrepreneur, an advocate for accessible education. She's co-founder and chief operating officer at Scholar Lab, Dr. Laurel Genot Baptiste. And she's a foremost leader in digital e-learning, and author of the upcoming book, Learning in the Digital, Technology and the Future of Learning. She was born and raised in Dominica, and Laurel's drive to succeed was inspired by examples of her mother, a passionate advocate for education, and Dame Marie Eugenia Charles, former Prime Minister of Dominica, who was educated at the U of T. Born out of a well-timed partnership and the desire to make education accessible to all, Scholar Lab is now a cutting-edge provider of online learning and conferencing solutions. I know we use Scholar Lab, for example, within our own program. I was discussing that with Laurel at the start of this particular event. Scholar Lab has revolutionized learning online with their state-of-the-art virtual classrooms, and Scholar Lab has helped organizations worldwide, and the technology has reached the screens of over a half a million online learners, a number that has been doubling annually for the past three years. Laurel strongly believes that access to education and online learning play a vital role in promoting equality in society and can help tear down the stereotypical limitations placed on individuals based on their gender and race. Please welcome our 2013 Outstanding Entrepreneur Award recipient, Laurel Genot Baptiste. You will have to bear with me tonight. And I was almost at tears during uh, O Canada. So I may occasionally burst into tears during my speech. <laughs> There are very few countries in the world where a little girl, a teenager with big dreams, born to illiterate parents, can come and have those dreams be realized. Thank you, Canada. Take yourself back five years. You are working at XYZ Corporation. You know very little about technology, and often find yourself confused and skeptical about supposedly revolutionary and life-changing technology buzzwords like social media. One day, as part of your company's employee training program, you are required to take an online course. You are frustrated, demotivated, as you drag yourself through text-based documents. Meanwhile, Halfway across the world is Gia, a 12-year-old girl living with her family in a small village in China. She will likely never return to school after grade six, as the cost of going to school is too much for her family to manage. She will spend the rest of her life without a high school education and without post-secondary education, working in unimaginable conditions earning minimum wage. Like Gia, millions of people around the world, especially women and children, struggle financially and emotionally for their entire lives because they do not have access to education. 
Fast forward to present day. Scholar Lab, a provider of online learning and conferencing solutions, is leading the way in transforming e-learning and opening up opportunities that seemed unimaginable just a few years ago. My two passions have always been technology and education. I remember my first undergraduate class in computer science, recently immigrating from Dominica. I was very, very scared. There were many boys in the room. I was among two females. Many had been programming for many years. I remembered thinking that I am going to be better than those boys and someday encourage girls. Encourage girls to be part of science and technology. With the popularity of video host sites such as YouTube, Vimeo, learners have become accustomed to and often prefer video as a source of information. Video, video as a medium to teach and learn is a natural evolution. Video-based courses allow instructors to use real presenters, subject matter experts. Learners can take cues from body language, facial expressions, and hand gest gestures to enhance the learning experience. Our learning platform enables learners to go back and forth through the entire learning process. Imagine being in a classroom, and we've, we all know some of these students, being in a classroom and having the instructor repeat him, his or herself over and over and over again. That is not possible in a traditional classroom. With the Scholar Lab online learning platform, all of these solutions are available. One of our clients here, the Canadian Marketing Association, while viewing video lectures from an integrated marketing specialist, a discussion question pops up and learners are asked for their opinion on social media as a marketing tool. They can share their opinion with others directly on the learning platform without ever navigating away from the video. Another learner brings up a concept previously mentioned in the lecture and the, a learner realizes that that important lecture was missed. They are able to go back and forth review and discuss with others. To date, as previously mentioned, Scholar Lab has reached the screens and minds of over half a million online learners, and we are presently accessed in 40 countries worldwide. Organizations across America, North America, include the Certified Management Accountants, the Virginia Association of Realtors, the American Pharmacist Association, and many more. I am proof, ladies and gentlemen, that your past does not dictate your future. I am proof that with passion, with supportive parents who may not always understand. I tried to explain to my mom a few weeks ago when I found out that I was getting this award. And her main concern was, do you have any children yet? <laughs> Although she may not necessarily understand the details of this award, she's very proud to have given birth to a daughter who followed her dreams and continues to follow those dreams today. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.